Classic, I'm the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today, another classic pattern, just an old style uh, coronamid pattern. I changed it up a bit, so I, I call this one my leggy coronamid, and you'll see why. Um, I've done very well with this pattern. Um, it just, uh, I find it a little bit more um, robust. It's not as, indis it's, it, it doesn't get, fall apart as much as one that uses like peacock. Um, you'll see what I'm saying, uh, what I mean when we get into the video, but uh, really successful pattern for me. I change up the uh, ribbing. Um, I have several different uh, types. I have some with red rib, some with silver rib, and some with yellow rib, and today I'll be doing the yellow rib. Um, so I'll switch over. Uh, in the vise right now, I have a Hens BL599 in a size 14. Um, I've got a, uh, a flat black bead, and I've got the larger hole to the front towards the eye, okay? Uh, and there, there's a reason for that. I'm going to be tying some gills in, and I need that a little bit of extra room, right? So, so I'll be using some Zemperfly Nano Silk for the body. Um, if you want, you can use um, like a like a flashaboo or something like that for. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get that in there for you guys, but a, like a flashaboo material, if you want, like this one's in like a black kind of gunmetal. Uh, you can use that for the body if you like. Um, I find that this nano silk's got a, a natural sheen. You can see that to it, right? So it gives a little bit of that that sheen to the to the fly as it is without it having to add that stuff, so. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the bead back right now. I'm just gonna tie on, nip off, and I wanna keep this fairly thin here at the front with the thread and stuff, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of poly yarn, and I'm gonna tie the poly yarn in. Right on top there. It's just a little bit of poly yarn. It's not very much. It's just to act as a bit of a gill. Then I'm just going to nip that off right close. Flatten my thread. Touching wraps. Try to catch in those little ends and make a little bit of a taper for the beat to come up. And come back up right behind the eye of the hook. Do a... Uh, Quick finish. Simple, simple. Get that off. Bring your bead forward and see that that larger hole will, will accommodate and allow you to come forward far enough. But it will still allow you to get your your uh, line in there. So, okay. So I just push that forward. Take my nano silk and reattach it right behind that bead, create a little bit of a, a thread down, like I, you see how I'm kind of angling forward like that? That helps get it right behind that, that bead and push that bead forward. Okay, so next I will take a piece of my, uh, this is the Zemperfly wire in extra, it's the, it's the extra small or 0.1 mil. Uh, this is a really small coronamid. Like uh, the the uh, I go. This is really good for the 14s and 16s, all 14s and 16s. This wire. Um, if I was going into the 10s, I'd be probably going up to the 0.2 mil. Again, just touching wraps all the way back, flattening your thread from time to time to make sure it stays nice and thin. Come back forward again. You can go, sometimes I'll, I'll get this to go right around the bend, sometimes I'll stop at the bend, it depends. I'll have a little bit of both um, in my box, um, so I can have a straight, more of a straight coronamid and more of a, of a, of a curved coronamid style, body style. So put a couple of th wraps right at the butt end, and then I just wrap forward. And I'll lock that down there. Helicopter off my wire. It comes off really easy because it's so thin, right? 
flatten my thread a bit. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to whip finish this. This is not done, but for the sake of the video, it's going to be in two stages. Um, I'm going to, just because of just time constraints, I don't want to keep, keep you guys here for a 30 minute video, right, for a small chronometer, so I'm just going to just going to get in here and just give it a really, really, really thin coat. The thinnest coat of possible of UV resin. In this case, I'm using the uh, Gulf Thinman. Okay, and then just take your UV light and hit it. Just get that cured. Now, I did tie another one up to this stage. Um, even though this UV resin uh, dries with the UV light, it's always got a little bit of that stickiness for a little while. Um, just a little bit. So I did tie another one up and I will use that one to continue on. So I'll do that. I'll tie up like a dozen to that stage or however many I want to that stage, to this stage. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is reattach my nano silk right behind the uh, bead there. Nip that off. And now normally here, you'd put in either a peacock hurl. Uh, quite often what I use is peacock dubbing. Um, but in this case, I am going to use the Zemperfly micro chenille, straggle string micro chenille. And that's going to act as my, my little legs in the front here. So I'm just going to get this here so I can expose that center core. Go a little bit past. Just tie that in. Cut off that little piece of center core there. Just make sure that's tied in nicely. Come right behind my bead. And then I'm just going to kind of stroke these materials just so these little legs kind of stroke out. I want them to kind of be wild. Uh, one more. I don't want too many turns of this. Just a little bit to act as those legs, right? Okay. Keep that stuff back. Lock it in. Now I'm just going to nip off my excess. You can see why I call it my leggy or my leggy coronamid because it gets quite leggy here with the straggle. And then I'll just stroke this out and if there's any really crazily long ones, I'll just give it a a rough cut here. I'm not gonna I don't want it to be even, obviously. And that is the finish line. Nice and leggy. Uh, that yellow will stick through when, like when you hit, when that hits the water. That yellow uh, um, um, wire really sticks through. So does the silver and the red. Um, but yeah, I guess it's a nice leggy pattern, and uh, it does flatten out a little bit when it gets wet, but it does stay spiked out a bit as well. So um, simple pattern to tie, super effective in the water. Uh, it looks really buggy in the water. It uh, I find these work way better fish naked than they do under an indicator because you want these closer to the surface because this is when they start getting there when they start getting a little ratty or closer to the surface right so okay well i hope you enjoyed that if you did give her a thumbs up uh if you subscribe thank you very much if you haven't please consider doing so and uh leave some comments let me know what you guys want to see i'll tie uh i'll tie whatever you guys want just uh if you have any questions about uh, tying techniques or anything like that let me know all righty Hi, lanes, everyone.